Hi everyone, it's the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Who are some of our church leaders today? I have this doll that looks like one of the leaders in our church. Does that help you remember who one of our leaders is? This is a, a doll that looks just like Pope Francis. You know, some of the other leaders of our church are um, Archbishop Gomez and of course our own Monsignor Albi. In the gospel today, we hear that some people thought that Jesus was a prophet. Do you know who the prophets were? They were the wise men who spent their lives telling people how God wanted his people to live. And some of the best known prophets in the Old Testament were Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. So let's listen to today's gospel. And when, um, when Jesus asks his followers who they say he is. So a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. When Jesus and his disciples were in the area of Caesarea Philippi, he asked the disciples, who do people think that I am? And they said, some people say you are John the Baptist and others think you are the prophet Elijah. But there are others who say you are Jeremiah or some other prophet. Jesus asked them, and who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ. You are the son of the living God. Jesus said, Simon, you are blessed. You did not learn that from any human being. No, God told you that. And I tell you, you will be called Peter, which means rock. On this rock, I will build my church. It will be stronger than the gates of hell and nothing will be able to destroy it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven so that what you decide on earth will be the same in heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what did Jesus ask his disciples? He asked them, who do you think I am? And what did most of his disciples answer? So most of them thought that Jesus was like one of the prophets. But who answered the question correctly? Simon, who we also know is Peter, he said that you are the Christ, you are the son of the living God. And then what did Jesus promise Simon, Peter? That Jesus promised that he would change his name to Peter, which means rock, and that Peter will lead the church. Since Peter answered the question correctly, Jesus knew this was a sign to choose Peter to lead the church. Does everyone today believe Jesus is God's son? Well, many still believe he's a prophet or just a good man who helped many people. If Jesus asked you, who do you think I am? What would be your answer? We are filled with the Holy Spirit and the light of God. So we know, like Peter, that Jesus is the Son of God, that he is the one we must follow to find everlasting life. Because of the faith of Peter and the disciples, we have the church today, and we can know Jesus too. We are not alone in our faith. So let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the church may continue her mission of proclaiming Christ as the savior of the world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the Holy Father, our bishops, priests, all the religious, and all who dedicate their lives to the service of God and his church, and that with courage they may work to expand the reign of God on earth. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for the faithful of God, that we may be, bear authentic witness to Christ through the values of faith, hope, and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our sick brothers and sisters, especially those of our parish community, that the Lord may grant them healing and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer and for all those things we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish again today 
with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, uh, please have your parents register you for faith formation classes. We start soon. God bless.